Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes. And today I'm gonna to show you my peanut butter buttercream. All you're going to need is uh, three sticks or one and a half cups of unsalted butter at room temperature. We need creamy peanut butter. You're gonna need uh, one and a half cups of this. Um, two pounds of powdered sugar, some cream, heavy whipping cream or double cream, and some vanilla. Um, I will put the written down recipe in both cups and grams in the drop down description box um, for this video if you wanna find it there. Okay, let's get started. Let's see, I have got my butter. And I'm gonna whip just the butter first, okay? I tried doing the peanut butter and the butter at the same time, but because this is much softer, the butter stayed kind of in little chunks, and I wanna avoid that. So I'm gonna whip just the butter first, and then I'll add my peanut butter. Okay, I've got my butter in there. While that's going, I'm gonna measure out my one and a half cups of peanut butter. Okay, that's looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my peanut butter. Yikes. I'm gonna turn that off first. Then I'm gonna add my peanut butter so it doesn't go flying. Like that. I'm sure there are easier ways to do this. I'm sure there are. But I'm just gonna use my Good old measuring cup. It doesn't have to be like totally exact, but pretty much. Just one and a half cups. And it looks like this whole jar is one and a half cups. Okay, perfect. Put that in there. Okay, and then just to make sure all the peanut butter's down in there. Oh, I lost my spatula. Here we go. Just gonna scrape it down a little bit. There we go. Okay, whip that until it's nice and fluffy. Perfect, okay. If you see little white chunks of butter in there, it's okay. Once you start mixing in the powdered sugar, um, it all incorporates. So, um, I have found when I've been you know, creating this recipe and tweaking it that the peanut butter tends to dry out the buttercream a little bit. So you don't need as much powdered sugar and you need a little more cream. You also don't need to add salt to this because you have all the salt from the, from the peanuts. Um, so I found that two pounds of powdered sugar or eight cups works perfectly for this one. So I'm gonna slowly add my powdered sugar. I don't usually sift my powdered sugar. I just, it's such a mess and it's such a pain and I found that my buttercream works just fine without doing that. Okay, while that's mixing, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding a little bit of cream at a time. I just eyeball it. There's about one tablespoon, two, three, and four. We'll start with four. And I'm gonna add some vanilla. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla.
Yes, definitely gonna need more cream. That peanut butter just dries it out a little. A little bit more. Five, six. Okay, at this point, I'm just gonna do the finger test. I can kind of just tell by touching it um, what consistency I'm gonna need for my cakes. That's still really dry. So I'm gonna add, I think I've added six so far. I'm gonna add at least two or three more tablespoons of cream. That's seven. That's eight. Okay, let's test it out again. Oh, it's getting better, yeah, it's creamier. I think I'm gonna do one more tablespoon though for a total of nine tablespoons of cream. And once I've got the consistency that I like, I'm gonna whip this for one to two minutes on medium, medium high speed just to get it nice and fluffy and really creamy and smooth. Okay, my friends, this is done. Just gonna give it a little taste. It's perfect. This goes so well with my chocolate cake recipe, which was posted earlier. Um, and this will be enough frosting easily to frost, crumb coat, stack, um, and decorate with some swirls. Uh, a two layer eight inch cake or a three layer six inch round cake. Um, and you'll probably have some leftover, which go great with the cake tops that you slice off to level your cakes. Or my kids eat this. Um, I'll keep some extras in the fridge. My kids dip bananas and apples in it. Um, it's really, really good. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me today on Neurotic Mom Bakes. Um, I hope you'll like and comment and subscribe to my channel, um, especially if you want to see more content like this. And you can also find me on Instagram at Neurotic Mom.